even a moment of sending in your invoice to a stage that you're going to be speaking to or sending your, if they ask for your price points and all of that, that is an exact moment to practice this, right? So you come home, your dog runs up to you, you feel amazing, you expand that energy, you dance, you, you know, whatever your practice is, you're just expanding your frequency. Step one, step two, Woo, okay, I'm going to go engage with the thing that's uncomfortable. That's going to move me towards my dream. That's going to help me manifest my dream. Okay. I'm going to send them the proposal that says I'm charging 20 grand for this talk. Oh shit. I feel very uncomfortable. The just uncomfortable feelings come up because let's say your mind is telling you it makes you a bad person or it's not good, or you should give everything, whatever the, the lies are. Let's say the old patterning kicks in. Now you move into step three, which is the five A's of the diamond self, this regulation practice. So moment, but all we did was become aware of what you feel and then you located it. So instead of, so that's the most important step, by the way, you're just aware of what you feel and you're willing and you're locating it, you're breathing into it. Ooh, second step is what is the feeling? What's authenticity? What does the feeling want to say or express? It might not be words. It might be or or it might be, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. You know, whatever it is, letting it feel what it feels without getting lost in it or say what it says as a mother present witnessing. There's no thought, there's no judgment, just neutral, letting the feeling speak. Third step, allowance. Am I willing to allow the feeling to exist? Am I, will I don't have to like it. Am I willing to allow the feeling to exist and maybe even expand through my body so I go from resistance to letting go? Yeah, I don't have to like it, but I or I like it and I'm letting it expand. Fourth is acceptance. Okay, what does this feeling need? in order to feel safe. How, so this is, we're validating the feeling, we're accepting it by supplying it with an unmet need. There's always an unmet need under the feeling that we've been pushing away. What is the need that hasn't been met? I need you to believe that you deserve this. I need you to let go of those old beliefs is what Susan just said. This part said, I need you to clean this BS belief systems in the mind up so that we, we're moving on a new belief structure so now she has a pattern, Susan has a pattern interrupt of it's safe for me to make tons of money doing what I love. And the fifth is appreciation. Appreciation. The fifth A for regulating your nervous system is appreciation. What's one, one sentence, what's one thing you're grateful for from this experience what are you grateful for that could you couldn't have been aware of or you couldn't have expanded or something good couldn't have come into your life without the friction so every time we take an action we take do these this practice you just then connect with your nervous system and go hey sweetheart like your body hi sweetheart do you realize we're safe we did it like we sent that email i feel you like but can you feel we we're, we're safe right now and it's just taking a breath, working through, and then the body starts to recognize what was thought to be unsafe as safe, and then that becomes a safety. So then your comfort zone gets bigger and bigger and bigger, but it's not going to get bigger from thinking or over strategizing or planning. It's going to happen through feeling what's underneath what's stopping us. And so this is just a really simple way. One, frequency. In a moment of your day that's repetitive every day that feels fantastic, build on that energy. Like maybe you go for a walk every day, you feel great when you walk, then build on that energy. Maybe dance or sing or jump up and down a hundred times and, you know, shake your booty. Or maybe it's some 10 really deep breaths or it's gratitude. So you expand the frequency even more than you're accustomed to. Second step, engage with the thing that's uncomfortable, that's taking you towards what you're your goal is or your vision, what you're manifesting, that juicy vision you just set down, wrote down at the start of today. Third step is to then go into the five A's, the safety practice for manifestation, which is the five A's for regulating your nervous system. Imagine just as a test, like 28 days of this and moving towards what you want and oof, 
yeah, just expanding the nervous system, checking in, feeling what we feel. We get to get really good at feeling what we feel. What is your next step in bringing your vision to life? So breathing in and instead of all the thinking, just feel into your body for a moment and notice if your body feels safe in this moment. And if it trusts you to keep coming back to it, to your body, checking in, awareness, what do I feel? Where do I feel it? Okay, what do you want to say feeling? Give the feeling a voice. Am I willing to allow this feeling to exist? You can even stop there. That's going to already shift things. Now you're in presence, feeling what you feel rather than thinking your way out. The body nervous system starts to unravel because the body relaxes when we're present with it. It's that simple. That took 10 seconds. Then you can take it a step further and really ask what the feeling needs from you. You might just need to cry. The body might just need to grieve or it might need to go for a walk, whatever it is. And then gratitude. What am I grateful for? And then we take the action. We get to, as a community, just create a movement around regulating our nervous system. So we feel safe in us to go for it and do it. What is your biggest takeaway from today? We're going to complete here. I really want you to anchor that in. And what is your next step? Otherwise, this is just entertainment and not transformation. Mm -hmm.